Constantine. And you're watching another episode of... You know, updates. Notice how we're both here. <laughs> Not separated by a notion anymore. Of course, we have accomplished many, 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 many things. I have crossed oceans. I have neglected deadlines. Well, I got me some books. And I intend to use them. To stack them one upon another. So, the deadline for my master thesis is approaching. Still slowly, but this will change in an instant once it's not that long anymore. It's an absolute dumb sentence. <laughs> but yeah, I failed miserably on making progress since last week. That's because I wasn't here. I mean, how are you supposed to work when you're a duo but you're alone? Plus, now it's a lot more exciting. Like, the thing that people fail to recognize about deadlines is the closer they are approaching, the more exciting the work gets. Well, this is this uh, old management saying everything takes as much time as you allot to it. So, I'm still not panicky. I'm pre-panicky. I'm just feeling bad for not having done anything yet, but I'm not panicky yet. That's pre-panicky, I guess. Since the last updates, I had a few more days in New York City. It was a very strange sort of trip, because grandma taking the grandkids to New York City is a pretty badass thing to do. And that made it a pretty badass trip, but also a very strange trip and a very strange and interesting way of exploring New York City. But I learned a lot, and I did get to know the city and fall in love with it a little bit. Well, and then I spent a good three days traveling the world and Germany to, you know, get from New York City back to Stuttgart by way of Montreal, Frankfurt, Leipzig, Nuremberg. A rest stop close to Nuremberg. So now I'm back. I'm here. And I took a day or two off because jet lag is more fun when you're not trying to do things. But things are about to happen. Next week is going to be a very productive university week where I'm going to write all of the papers and finish all of the things that I was actually working on all semester but, you know, haven't written all of it down yet. So I'm gonna write probably a good 200 pages in the next week and it's gonna be really fun. Freak. Nothing could possibly go <laughs> wrong. So switch to the epiphanies? What? You so switch to the epiphanies? My epiphany this week has something to do with the fact that I am not stressed out by this master's thesis, even though quite a bit of time has already passed. And I think there are a few reasons for that. A major one is probably because I kind of know what I'm going to do, that I'm pretty clear about the scope of the project. But there's another additional side to that and um, I think it has a lot to do with development and the fact that I am 28 years old now so this is not my bachelor's thesis I'm writing at 23 where I am panicking like not knowing what 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 I need to write a scientific paper everything is oh my god is so insane and crazy and this is true for a lot of things with a, a certain age, a certain age, you've usually done quite a few things and uh, if you're still alive, most of them went well. <laughs> I think my point of the epiphany is to sometimes just relax and, and take a look back. Because we tend to, to focus on, on the screw-ups in our lives that haunt us. But not knowing your personal history, I'm still pretty positive that even your worst major fuck up in your life is only a tiny fraction of your life. Meaning that you've accomplished so much, you've done so many cool things. So it really doesn't matter that much. A point is this, it's interesting to see how you develop and appreciate the things in your past that led due to your present and build upon that. So I'm not fretting because of this master's thesis because I've obviously I've done some dumb shit but I've done some pretty cool shit too and I can build upon that. So I have always been a daydreamer, a person who, you know, thinks about possible scenarios and outcomes and realities and, and paints pictures in her mind. 
And I think that translates into how I work too. I daydream. I think about a project initially at least, not in terms of you know the work and the process and the whatever, I think of it in the potential and in the magical beautiful outcome. And I think what tends to happen when you daydream a lot is that you kind of expect magic. It can be kind of disillusioning when you actually start on a project because it's never magical. It never starts with that, you know, big old bang and everything fits together and it's suddenly just all perfect and better than anyone ever expected and oh my god! And I used to get kind of frustrated by that, by the fact that it wasn't all I envisioned right up front. And I think what I've been learning is that magic is wholly overrated because things aren't just perfectly magnificent the way you imagined them right at first, but they get there. And there's this process of working on a project, on working on a thing, like, like the life hacks, like all of my papers right now, where you make continuous progress and it just gets more and more exciting and it just gets better and better and it just gets closer and closer to this perfect thing that you envisioned except even broader and even more, and it doesn't usually end there, it usually bypasses what I envisioned and just gets to a magnitude that I couldn't grasp before. So for example, with the life hacks, it's, it's been a fun project to work on and I really thought it could help people, but the depth to which it's been helping and the way it's been received blows my mind. And the process of working on it has been rough. It's been a hard project to do, it's been a hard project to work on, but it keeps continuously getting better. So what I'm learning is that magic isn't an instantaneous perfect snap into place thing. Magic is a process that you build yourself and in combination with the other people involved in anything and with your audience and with the world at large. Magic is possible, but it's not a snap, poof, cloud of smoke thing that we're used to. It's a process. It takes work. And if we're being really honest with ourselves, that's the most exciting part about it.